Hi everyone! Welcome to another learning episode. Last time, I talked about descriptive research and correlational research. I also provided you with some sample research titles. Today, I'll be sharing with you titles for a science investigatory project. I know you've been asking this for a while now, but I was quite hesitant at first in making this video since I am not a science teacher and my knowledge in terms of doing experimental research is not that sufficient because I haven't done a lot of experimental research as yet. However, thank you to my two friends, Cindy and Vince. They helped me out in crafting these titles. Actually, they were the ones who gave me these titles. And they already conducted this science investigatory project together with their students. So before we proceed to the discussion, let us have a quick review first on quantitative research. Generally, there are two types of quantitative research, the non-experimental research and the experimental research. The descriptive research and correlational research design belong to non-experimental research because we are not testing out any treatment, any experimental units or intervention in this type of research. What we do in descriptive research is to obtain information to systematically describe a phenomenon, a situation, or a population. With correlational research, we measure two entities and compare them. Well, with Science investigatory project. Science investigatory project falls under the experimental research category. Experimental research is commonly used in sciences such as sociology, psychology, physics, chemistry, uh, biology, and medicine. Experimental research is a research conducted with scientific approach using two sets of variables. The first variable acts as constant, which we use to measure the differences of the second set. Later, as we go along our research titles, we'll figure out how do we classify our constant variables and experimental variables when we do science investigatory project. We'll start it with our science investigatory project research title 1. Cassava starch bioplastic is an effective alternative for harmful commercial plastics. The main objective of this experimental research is to check the potentiality of cassava starch as the main ingredient in producing bioplastics in terms of its solubility, degradation, and durability. And at the same time, it also seeks to answer the question if the cassava starch bioplastic could be an effective alternative for commercial plastics that we have already in the market. Let's proceed to our science investigatory project number two, which is efficacy of calamansi extract and coconut oil as main components for shoe polish. Now, the main objective for this research study is to check if there is a significant difference between the homemade shoe polish, which is a mixture of calamansi extract and coconut oil, versus the commercial shoe polish when applied to leather shoes in terms of its efficacy duration. So the, the researcher would check the length of time the homemade shoe polish and the commercial shoe polish will be able to keep these leather shoes shiny and polished. Let's proceed to our research title number three, which is Oyster Shell as an Alternative Tile. This research study aims to examine the potentiality of the components of oyster shell in terms of producing alternative tile, in terms of its durability, and at the same time, the alternative tile which is made out of oyster shell will be compared to the commercial tile that we have already in the market if our oyster shell could be at par to the performance of the tile that we have already. Let's proceed to our fourth SIP title, which is Dorian Peelings as Substitute Raw Materials for Cardboard Making. This research title, the, the objective of this research title is to assess the effectivity of the components of Dorian Peelings and its properties in terms of producing cardboard. And the properties also will be checked. Uh, in terms of its solubility, degradation, and durability. It will be compared to the existing cardboard that we have already in the market and check if 
This durian peeling raw materials could be a substitute to the materials that we use in producing cardboard. Those were our science investigatory project titles. Thank you for watching this episode. And for those who are not subscribed yet, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Help me grow this learning community. If you like this video, kindly hit that like button below because it helps us with our algorithm. And by the way, just a little announcement. We already have our TikTok account. Please follow us at MafetChavez50 if you want to watch short form videos of these episodes. Kindly check them out. So thank you so much and keep on learning!